Hey, welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. Thanks for joining us. And we're going to follow up on the Bundy Ranch situation. Now, regardless of the Bundy Ranch in specific, we need to ask ourselves a couple of questions, uh, a couple additional questions, if you'll indulge me. Now, a lot of people uh, consider that the American Revolution was the first American Revolutionary War. And on the books, that's the way it's written. But if you think about it, and if you've actually studied the period surrounding 1765, 1770, 75, and so forth, what you'll see is what it actually was, was the first American Civil War. And you're like, oh, come, oh, come, come on, Paul. I, I took history in school, and it was 1861. That's when the Civil War happened. Well... Back in 1775, 76, and so forth, when we started shooting, you know, in Massachusetts, Lexington, and Concord, and so forth, not everyone who was a colonist thought it was a great idea to separate from England and have our own independent nation. A lot of them wanted to stay with England. A lot of them were comfortable. They were comfortable tax slaves. And if you look out across the landscape of the United States of America today, you will see a very similar situation. You have people that are very, very comfortable, even though they are tax slaves, they're comfortable being tax slaves, and they don't want you radical people rocking the boat and talking all about the Bill of Rights and the Constitution and liberty, and because that makes them uncomfortable. Let's face facts. In 1775, we had the first American Civil War because there were people that were colonists that fought on the side of the British government in order to keep the colonies a part of that kingdom, a part of that nation. And so we had brother, cousin, you know, so forth, neighbors fighting against neighbors. And of course, in 1861, we had the same thing, North versus South in the American Civil War. And I, I guess the question that we have to ask ourselves right now is, are we heading for American Civil War Part 3? Yes or no, I'm not going to tell you which side to fall on, but how many of your friends and neighbors are indeed Tories? How many of them are indeed comfortable slaves who don't see a problem with the current system, think it is up to the government to solve all of their problems, and if you don't think the government should have all power over everything, you're a rabble-rouser, you're an extremist, you're far right-wing. Ask yourself that. How many of those people are there? Are we going into American Civil War Part 3? Yes or no? Make the decision for yourself. Now, for more Student of the Gun, check us out at studentofthegun.com. Check us out on the mobile app for your Android phone or your iTunes phone. They're free.